Welcome back to Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host Rocky in my mother's kitchen as always. Today we're going to be doing another Southern Essentials video. This is a recipe that my mom has never done, so I'm going to give her the morning off. Isn't that right, Mom? Yes. Today on the Southern Essentials Top 20 list, number seven, number sorry, number six is a dressing, stuffing, whatever you want to call it, with cornbread. Uh, this is your cornbread, southern, southern cornbread dressing. This is really all the ingredients that it's going to need. Uh, you're going to start with a half a cup of butter, which is one stick. About uh, I just did one whole onion and I chopped up as much celery to even the same amounts. So that's going to be eh, not quite two cups. It should be about two cups of each. Uh, now, okay, let me go back. Uh, I had to search the internet for these recipes because I kind of wanted to look at what different people said so I listed out all the ingredients and I'm kind of averaging them out so I'm using all the ingredients I'm just kind of playing with the amounts to try to get it right in the middle of everybody's recipe so to get it in the middle about two cups of onion two cups of celery one half stick of butter that's going to get sauteed off to begin with to that is one batch of cornbread I've got this, this is frozen, uh, pre uh, made and frozen, so I've thawed it out, and I'll crumble that up. It calls for six slices of stale bread, so I took some, actually I got some hamburger buns and a couple pieces of bread, I've got six slices there, and I've left it out just so it starts to dry out a little bit. It calls for seasonings, I've got thyme, and I've got sage, plenty of sage, salt and pepper. It calls for a broth. I've got homemade chicken stock, so this will have the flavors of a little bit of carrot and celery and onion in it. This is homemade as well as this chicken. I got this at the same time. I took a big old pot, I think I put two or three whole chickens in it, made stock, and I picked all the meat off the bone and froze it. That way I'd have little grab and go things of chicken when I want to make something like this and I don't want to have to prep the chicken. I just grab it out of the freezer, I got the chicken, and I've already got the broth homemade. Fantastic. But that's it. Uh, oh, and some eggs for binder. For, it calls for uh, Average, I'm going to go with four eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on the stove. And you watch the intro and we'll be back over there and we'll get these veggies sautéed down. On medium heat, I'm going to take one stick of butter. This is already room temperature. I'm not going to throw away the wrapper quite yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to cook this in. If I use the 9x13, I'm going to use this to grease the inside. I may just do it in a cast iron pan. I'm not sure. If I think my cast iron pan would be big enough for the whole thing, I could saute this in the cast iron. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do this in a 9x13 though. So get this melted down. I'm going to add the veggies. Don't want them brown, you just want them wilted and translucent. Be back when they are done. Onions and celery are softened. The butter is slightly brown, not the, the onions and celery themselves, but the, the butter, if you cook butter and it'll drop out some of the milk fats, get that brown nutty aroma, perfect. Cornbread, I just took and crumbled up into chunks and pieces, and the stale bread is on the bottom, same thing, I just, cut, just ripped that apart to pieces. To this, I'm going to add the seasonings. There's about a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of sage, and two teaspoons of thyme. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. Try to make sure that the seasonings get incorporated throughout and not all in one spot. I'm just waving. Okay, to this is going to be the onion and the celery mixture and all that extra butter. Yes, that seems like a lot of butter, it is, but you uh, got to remember the breads are dry and you're going to want a little bit of fat content in here, so it's not a lot of butter when you think about it that way. And going to get that little mix through. Next step is going to be to add the eggs. I've already got the four eggs here beaten. Just get them mixed up. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees, by the way. Oh, 
it smells like Christmas and Thanksgiving in here, Mom. More like Thanksgiving. Of course, if we're having turkey again, then it's going to smell like Christmas. All right, give my broth a shake. I don't know how much I'm going to use, so I'm going to start with a couple cups for sure. Reserve some. It's going to be soupy, the recipe say. Uh, some say almost the consistency of the cornbread mix before you bake it to make your cornbread, but thick. So that's not enough yet. Soak up more of that, I believe. So I have to add a little bit more. Probably about perfect. I think I used five cups. And mind you, this is stock, so it's a little bit thicker than broth. You might not need as much if you're going straight broth. Okay, that's soupy. Yeah, chunky. It's chunky soup. And last, I'm going to mix in. This is an option. You don't have to put chicken or turkey or giblets or uh, whatever you want in here. Uh, you don't have to. You can make it just the dressing without, but I like it with the meat in it. I've had this before. I've never made it before, and I think the meat is makes it a little more hearty. Um, it can be turkey. It can be chicken. Um, another option that one of the recipes called for is hard-boiled eggs. Take some hard-boiled eggs, dice them up, put them in here. I've seen that plenty of times too. That's your option. I was just being a little bit lazy. I didn't feel like boiling any eggs. I thought my mom was going to make some egg salad, but I never did ask her. <laughs> All right, now this goes into the 9 by 13 greased baking dish. You can see how nice and loose and wet that is. I'm just going to give it a spread out. And when the oven hits 400 degrees, it's going to go in for 45 to 55 minutes. Just want to test it to make sure that it's set in the middle, and that's it. That does look good to me. So we'll be back when this comes out of the oven, get a picture of it, let it cool off, and then get the obligatory and well long awaited taste test. So we'll be back in a few moments. Well, I think it looks as good as it smells. It smells good. And if it tastes as good as it looks and smells, we're in business. It's set for about eh, five or ten minutes now. We're just going to take a little bit because we've both already eaten breakfast. And this should be something, I know Dad won't eat it, he doesn't like the cornbread dressings, but this is something that my girlfriend should eat, so hopefully, hopefully... First thing we made that she'll eat. <laughs> darn near. <laughs> smell the sage and thyme in it. What time is it? Yeah, that's the close southern uh, um, dressing. I like our Yankee version better for dressing. I do too. But this I could eat with anything other than just Thanksgiving or, you know. I could eat this as, a, as its own meal because it's got the chicken in it. And I'm not a big proponent of cornbread. Yeah. I mean, I like cornbread. Yeah. But, but cornbread like, stuffing. Yeah. But this I would eat. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good. Um, it's a little moist, um, which you don't want it to be dry as it's going to come out like a brick. Um, it's definitely cooked the amount right through. It's got a little bit of brown around the edge. Uh, you can adjust the flavors how you want as far as the seasoning goes. I don't want to go overboard one way or the other, but we would probably put a little more seasoning in it for us. Would we say it though? Uh-huh. I like that a lot. Um, you can put uh, pork sausage in here. Then mm -hmm. I probably yeah. really like that it. That would be more like ours. Um, the texture is different than ours because the cornbread makes it a softer, um, I don't know, wetter, moister mouthfeel than ours. Ours is a little more dense. And you notice this one doesn't have any of the cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken soup or any cream soup like that. Right. 
this was a true old school traditional recipe before the uh, the soup mixes came out. You can always put one in here if you want that extra creaminess or extra flavor. If you want, but I like that. I'll give that a pass. That's as good as any of the castor the, the dressings I've had since I've been down here. So yay! I don't have to do this one again. Oh, I will do it again because like I said I like this. My girlfriend will eat this. If I find something that my girlfriend will eat and I will eat. It'll be a first. Yeah. And it wasn't that hard to put together. I had pre-cooked chicken, and when I did some baking before, I can always do an extra cornbread. So I have, and I still have one more cornbread in my freezer at home. So, and some chicken. So I could easily do this one again tomorrow because I've got all the, the hard ingredients to do, the things that you'd have to do ahead of time because I did them when I was doing something else. So it's not hard to throw together. Uh, you can throw it in the oven while you have a company come over and sit there and talk and chat and then bring it out and, you're, and it's on the table. So, yeah, I'll give this one a thumbs up. This was number six on the Southern Essentials list. Cornbread, Southern Cornbread Dressing. And we can cross that one off. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video down below and share and subscribe. And we will come back and we're shooting another video today, which would be out the week after this. A real quick, easy one. <laughs> sweet tea. So I'm going to have uh, some more of this, and then I'm going to make some sweet tea, and we'll be good. Oh, it gets sweet as I stir it with my finger. Bye, y'all.